How to test a contactor. Contactors are used to remotely switch electrical power. The coil actuated switch operates exactly like a relay, but a contactor typically handles higher amperages in the switch mechanism itself. The coil consists of many winds to a wire and is energized by a smaller voltage. A movable solenoid, called a plunger, is mechanically connected to a set of spring-loaded copper discs. These discs are called the contacts. When the coil is energized, the solenoid pushes against the spring and closes the contacts. When the coil voltage is removed, the force of the spring returns the contacts to their normally open position. Typically the contacts, two each to a switch. The line, or L, is the voltage feed, and the terminal, or T, is connected to the electrical device being controlled. Contactors can have many sets of contacts or switches. Remove all electrical power to the L or line side of the contactor. Use the screwdriver and pull the wires from the line side screws. Identify the wires, if needed, with a clear tape and pen. Place identifier marks such as L1, L2 and L3 with the pen over the tape. Adhere the tape to the corresponding wires. Steps 2. Energize the contactor's coil by turning the control switch to the on position. You should hear an audible click, and a humming sound will emit from the contact. Some contactors may have some form of visual aid or manual actuator that will physically move when the coil is energized. Step 3. Switch the volt ohm meter on and to the ohm's position on the front selector switch. Place the red lead into the ohm connector and the black lead into the common. Step 3. Touch the two leads together. The meter short reads 0 ohms or a direct short. Step 5. Test each set of L1 to T1 contacts. Place the red lead to the L1 and the black lead to T1. The meter should read 0 ohms. Perform the test on each separate set of contacts. Keep each set test together L1 to T1, L2 to T2 and L3 to T3. Each set should read 0 ohms. If any set does not, then that contact is bad. The contacts may have to be replaced. 